call it. Um, it's very fascinating. And now I've been working on a project lately, so it is like an animation type of project. So uh, obviously there are some animations and things that like I've been working on and it's not that necessarily the animation itself or story that I'm trying to tell itself, you know, like it's not that it necessarily has to really do specifically with the rake as a cryptid or specifically is trying to have to do anything with cryptids <laughs> as themselves. It's just I thought I'd throw the rake in there because it's just a cool concept and the rake is a concept that could be thrown into many things. Um, so I thought, you know, let me let me try and make it like an animation of a, a rake because I think there's different types, honestly, of, of them. Um, and I was thinking, like, let me see if I could try to make, and I'll, I'll just... I'll describe, I'll describe like, I'll, I'll, do, I'll try to describe to you the specific type of rake that I'm trying to really emulate with this animation, and I'll, I'll explain a little bit. So, there was a fan art or whatever you want to call it, picture that someone had drew of a creature and I think, I may be getting this wrong, but I think someone who may have actually seen the rake themselves may have commented and been like, oh yeah, that looks really oddly similar to the thing that I saw. You know, this, this version of the rake wasn't exactly like, it wasn't like what you normally really would think when you think of a, a, a concept of, of the rake because it wasn't like it didn't even look like it stood that upright either. It didn't look that much like a man. Um, obviously, it, it like I said, it was more quadrupedal. Uh, it looked like it had very pronounced hawks for legs. It looked like its arms were just insanely long in proportion to everything else on its body. Almost like, you know when you, you, know when you see a bat crawl and you notice like how long a bat's... Um, wings are but you know it kind of looks like arms it, it kind of, its arms kind of look like that like it was just incredibly long and weird looking um its head looked like kind of coned at the top like almost ca capped at the top uh it just it honestly it looked i'm, not, I'm gonna try not to curse in this one but it, it, it looked effing crazy is what it looked like it looked crazy looking like not crazy as in unbelievable because i could clearly see how something like that exists and i know there are things like that that exist but it's just it, it was cr it just was crazy looking like and it looked honestly you know for what a person would call um scary or whatever it looked incredibly menacing like it just <laughs> it just looked horrifying like it looked like something out of a nightmare you know um it clearly looked predatory too there's there's nothing doubting about that it's a predator it looked completely predatory and carnivorous looking and crazy looking um but i said you know what i'll kind of make it and i didn't even use the actual picture as a reference i just from my uh memory tried to make the animation look reminiscent of that concept of the rake um because it was just a very interesting interesting concept actually um and it also kind of, what it kind of reminded me of, honestly, um, not necessarily the size of it, because it was a lot skinnier looking, a lot more streamlined and, and fast looking. Um, the thing about it was, it, 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 if you guys ever seen the movie Hellboy, and you, you've seen when they had the, Sam, the Samael creature, and this, the Samael creature kind of is like, galloping it kind of just gallops around almost like kind of like an ape or kind of like a dog and kind of like an ape and just sort of gallops or like gallops and hops around and it's very low to the ground it's very on all fours and it could easily just stand up just as well as a per like person but it's you know it, it can do both so seamlessly 
that's what it, the picture of that rake reminded me of. If I could imagine, um, if I could imagine something moving that looks like that, with that type of bone structure and stuff, like it just, um, it reminded me of the Sam Ale creature. You know, it's the quad quadrupedal and inc incredibly fast to this thing. You know, um, you got to think all the thing is doing is simply just repeating. It's just like a person running, you know, it's just repeating the same motion over and over, and it, it, but it can just do it at such a fast rate, and it's it's on a lower plane, but it has the right type of bones to do that efficiently. So you could imagine, kind of think like a pig, you know how fast a pig can just dart and gallop, you know, back and forth that fast like that? It's, that's what it's like. Or a dog or something, you know, it's, it's um, or a monkey, you know, so... I tried to animate this thing, you know, <laughs> in a way where it's a, you know, you can tell that it's just running, and I'm going to put it up on the screen. Someone's like, let's just put it up already. Well, I'm going to put it up the screen. But this is a rake rant, again, so I figure I'll just make it into a rant. It's just, what would it be if I just slapped it up on the screen and just uh, didn't even say, you know, didn't give it any uh, explanation or anything? Because some people don't really know about the uh, cryptids in general and they don't really know about the rake in general and when they see it they just think oh it's just a animation of a monster on the screen like they don't understand the backstory to it and everything so what i'm doing is i'm laying out the whole backstory like i usually always do i try to give you like the entire backstory on something um 